Hi, welcome to first step Azure Cloud Services. In this video, we are going to see how to create a linked service for Azure Blob Storage in Azure Data Factory. In order to do this, we need the Data Factory and Blob Storage and Key Vault to be created in the same resource group. Followed by that, we need to make sure that several configurations have been correctly configured. The first one is at data factory level. Once you go to your Azure data factory in managed identities, you should go to system assigned managed identity. Make sure that system assigned managed identity is set to on. This will help your data factory to seamlessly connect with most of the Azure services. The second one is at the key vault level. You have to go to your key vault in Azure Key Vault, make sure in access policies, your Azure Data Factory have the relevant permissions to get and list the secrets. Followed by this, we can go to the Key Vault secrets. In that, we are going to create two different secrets. One is holding the account key. The other one is holding the connection string to the blob storage. Where we can find this information is at the blob storage, security and networking, access keys you can find the account key and connection string so this has to be created as a key vault secret here in azure key vault and you can see we have followed the same naming convention that we usually follow followed by this we have to go to azure data factory in azure data factory go to manage integration runtimes click the auto resolve integration runtime go to virtual network make sure that interactive authoring is enabled this interactive authoring feature will help you to perform operations such as test connection, preview data, import schema, and so on. So this is one of the most important feature that you need to make sure it is enabled in auto resolve integration runtime. So please make sure that the four configuration steps. First, Azure Data Factory managed identity has to be enabled. In Key Vault, Azure Data Factory needs to get the relevant permissions. You need to create the secrets in Azure Key Vault. And finally, you have to enable this interactive authoring in auto resolve integration runtime. So once this is done, we are good to create our linked service. Let's go and create a linked service. In order to create a linked service, you need to log into your data factory, go to manage linked service, hit new and choose Azure. Here you can see Azure blob storage, click Azure blob storage and continue in this. Let us give the name as per the naming convention like LS stands for linked service and this is Azure blob storage ABS and we are going to use account key AK and finally FS dev test is to S2001. According to your scope, you can give the description and you can see the auto resolve integration runtime is enabled here. Okay, and you can see the authentication type is typically five types account key SAS URI service principle system assigned managed identity and user assigned managed identity let us cover account key first one of the important factor that you need to consider or keep in mind while you're working, working with account key is the account key is set on the storage account level so make sure that you are not giving the account key in most of the cases account keys can be used wherever you need to have read and write both the permission if you need only read permission then we can work with the different approaches okay so make sure that whenever you're working with account key you are you are 100 percent sure okay in order to configure this account key in linked service we have several ways the first one is using a connection string in connection string you have two options from azure subscription directly and you can enter manually let's go with azure subscription first you have to pick the subscription that you need to go on and you have to pick the storage account that you need to connect so the moment you you click the storage account you can see the test connection will succeed the reason why sometime back in the data factory level we have set that system assigned managed identity to on this will seamlessly allow our data factory to connect with the resources in the same resource group that is the reason why you can see the test connection is succeeded here okay so this is option one and the option two is entering manually while entering manually you need to have information such as storage account name storage account key and endpoint suffix let's get these details from storage account 
go back to your storage account security and networking access keys you can find storage account name please copy the storage account name and paste it in storage account name respectively again go back to the same location in access keys you can see that key here click show and copy the key once the key is copied you can paste it in the storage account key and the endpoint suffix is always scores.windows.net you can copy it and paste it here once it is pasted you can hit test connection so this test connection now is going to use the same account key for the storage account and it will succeed it. okay again hard coding the account key in linked services is not the best practice so what we are going to do we are going to use the account key that has been stored in the key vault here you can again choose the azure key vault we are going to use the already created key vault services or key vault linked service let me use the manage system identity linked service okay it will list down all the secret names that is available in our key vault we are going to use the account key once the account key is selected always keep the version as latest and hit test connection this time also we are going to use the same account key but rather than hard coding it in the linked service we are going to store it in azure key vault and use it in our data factory see the connection is successful so this is the second approach the third one is directly using the connection string how you can use it choose azure key vault select the key vault service once you have selected the key vault service select the secret name for this purpose only we have created the one more secret connection string you can choose the connection string keep the version as latest and give test connection so this time also it will fetch the entire connection string information from your azure key vault and it will connect to the storage account directly okay the connection string will have information such as storage account name account key endpoint suffix and http protocol okay so this is how you can create a linked service for blob storage in azure data factory if you like this video please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel